time for a new diaper from NRU. In Diaper News Episode 22, I introduced you to Tinimals, after things had been rather quiet with this manufacturer for some time. With the Little Rascals V2, they have one of the best diapers in their range. But the competition never sleeps and at some point it will be time to expand the range. In the practical test, I am wearing size M, which is supposed to be suitable for a circumference of 71 to 91 centimeters. The pack contains 10 pieces. Visually, it goes against the trend and is still classically transparent, which is not necessarily a bad thing. After all, the diaper doesn't get any better just because other manufacturers print the packaging and add the costs to the price. Let's take a closer look at the diaper. It has a large motif on the adhesive surface, of which there are three different ones, bear, tiger and a lion. One pack contains several motifs mixed together, as we know from other diapers such as Peak Abu, which also have different prints. So you can't just buy one particular design. It is glued shut with a total of four resealable plastic adhesives, as has been tried and tested with ABDL diapers. The same goes for the higher leakage protection inside, which offers enough space for boosters, you'll find out whether this is necessary later in the suction performance. On the outside, the tinimals with their green lines are reminiscent of the classic crinkles, while the lion in particular has become the trademark of Abu's Little Kings. The Little Kings is controversial as a cotton diaper. Many of you like the design but dislike cotton, which is why the tinimals is interesting. It uses foil as the outer material, which is standard for ABDL diapers. The gluing area seems smaller to me and I needed several attempts to place both glues properly so that they didn't overlap. I had to place the second row quite far down. It felt like the diaper fit well, but the adhesive area said otherwise. I tried pulling the diaper up a little further at the front, as the adhesive surface still had room left at the bottom. However, this made the fit worse. Very strange, I have never had this with any other diaper before. After several attempts, I couldn't find a better solution than to place the adhesives close together, not ideal, but it works. I'll show you what happened later. First, the absorbency. The diaper clearly belongs to the thick category. You notice this as soon as you hold it in your hand and after putting it on you feel really well wrapped up. A look at the scales confirms this. 243 grams empty weight is only just behind the Abu Tiny Tails, which recently broke a new record in the practical test as the thickest diaper currently available, a very good result. In the everyday test, the diaper weighed over 2.3 kilograms in the best result before it started to leak. This is also a strong result and is even slightly higher than Abu's new top model. The Tinimals are also interesting in terms of price, they cost three euros and nine cents each in a pack of 10 and are therefore significantly cheaper than the Teeny Tails. The competitor product from Abu is still only available in the manufacturer's own EU store and at three euros and 70 cents per diaper, it clearly breaks the three euros mark. In return, you have to do without the wetness indicator. But let's be honest, who is worth the 61 cent surcharge for each diaper? Especially when it is implemented as a strip in a rather unkind way, as Abu has copied it from the medical diapers. I think it is particularly unnecessary for ABDLs because they can feel it themselves or see from the appearance of the diaper when a change is needed. If anything, I think it should be integrated into the design, like Tykables did with the unicorn, here the stars disappear when wet. Or Abu with their somewhat older little paws. However, there is still one shortcoming. I told you at the beginning about the small adhesive surface. I haven't had this with any other diaper so far, so I took a closer look. When comparing with other diapers where I didn't have this problem, I noticed something. The adhesive surface starts much further up, or the other way around. With the tiny tails, the adhesive surface is a good bit further down. I have the Little Rascals V2 here, also a thick diaper from the same manufacturer. Placed side by side, you can see that the film above the adhesive surface is twice as long on the Tinimals as on the Little Rascals. This is exactly what causes the gluing problems. For the cut of the diaper, the adhesives should sit a little further up, as with the Little Rascals V2, for example. However, there is no gluing surface there yet, so you have to go a little further down, it gets tight and doesn't fit perfectly. This is another disadvantage. The Tinimals has a fairly wide strip of film at the top that hangs loose. With other diapers this is much smaller and is not very noticeable because the first adhesive stabilizes the diaper directly underneath. This had no effect on the absorbency in my test. However, the diaper felt a little loose, as if the upper adhesives had not been glued down properly. 
It is much better if you move the first adhesive further up, as is usual with other diapers. This allows the second row to go further up. Unfortunately, this has a decisive disadvantage. As there is no adhesive surface here, the diaper tears open when the top adhesive is removed. At least these resealable adhesives have been turned into disposable adhesives, unattractive. I can't understand why NRU did this. With the previous diapers from this and other brands, the position of the adhesive surface fit better. Here it is worse and I don't even see an advantage in it, only the disadvantage that the diaper is looser at the top. Even if this doesn't seem to have a negative effect on the absorbency, the loose part at the top is still an unpleasant feeling, where you mistakenly think the adhesives doesn't fit properly. I've only ever experienced this with diapers with just two adhesives, where the stability suffers compared to four adhesives. The advantage of four adhesives is that the first adhesive holds the diaper firmly to the body as far up as possible and the second at the bottom. You can manage with that. However, it is a disadvantage that you notice again and again. The loose part at the top is particularly noticeable after another diaper has been worn. This makes the comparison with the competitor Tiny Tails from Abu more difficult. So you can't say that the difference to Abu is just a higher price for other designs and a medical wetness indicator. Abu has not made the mistake with the adhesive surface, their tiny tail sits perfectly on the adhesive surface provided, which I think is better. On the other hand, the NRU Tinimals as a whole is not a bad diaper at all. It is printed with beautiful motifs and has a good chance of becoming a little kings with foil for the masses of ABDLs who prefer foil. Thick diapers with high absorbency are very popular there, as my survey among you also showed. Both Abu and NRU have basically hit the mark, Unfortunately, each of the two diapers has a decisive disadvantage. With Abu it is the high price and for some the difficulty of ordering, because you always have to order them directly from Abu and cannot buy them in independent diaper stores. NRU is cheaper, but they have made the adhesive surface worse. Overall, I like the tiny moles, without the problem with the adhesive surface I would go for very good, because otherwise I have not seen any points of criticism. Perhaps there are at least some marginal cases where the deep adhesive surface offers added value? The only thing I can think of is the slightly better concealment if underpants are worn over them. However, this is more likely to be theoretical because such thick diapers hardly fit under underpants. What do you think of the Tinimals? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more free diaper videos. Stay dry, until the next video.